Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Lynch from Annapolis, Maryland. One of the questions I get asked frequently is, what's the difference between ultrasound guided and fluoroscopy guided stellate ganglion block? These are two commonly used imaging techniques to perform this procedure. And what fluoroscopy is, is live x-ray. Simply put, it's a C-arm that's used in either an operating room or surgical suite that is used to direct the physician's needle to a location on the side of the neck which is where the stellate ganglion lies. This is a procedure that's standard of care and has been used for many, many years, and many physicians are trained to perform stellate ganglion block under fluoroscopy. However, of all the physicians I know that have been trained to use fluoroscopy and ultrasound to perform stellate ganglion block, 100% of them have shifted over to using ultrasound exclusively, and it's for a variety of reasons. Primarily, ultrasound is just wonderful imaging with very great detail to see all soft tissue structures that are in that field of view. And this is important because there are some very important structures that lie in the area of the stellate ganglion, such as blood vessels, nerves, your thyroid gland, esophagus, and other things. These are not, a, you're not able to see these on fluoroscopy, but you can see them very clearly on ultrasound. In this case, a picture is worth a thousand words. So what I think I'll do is just show you what I'm talking about. And I use ultrasound with Doppler imaging, which allows me to see blood vessels in the area where I plan to go and where my needle will be directed. And by doing that, I can ensure that I have a clear path to the target. So what I'm showing you here on the screen is a standard look at the C6 level for a stellate ganglion block. This is the thyroid gland here. This is the carotid artery, which is beating, and on Doppler imaging, it lights up in color. This is the internal jugular vein, which also lights up in color, and it allows me to clearly delineate these structures so that when I steer my needle carefully away from them, I can avoid them and direct my needle to the target, which lies right about there where the arrow is. And then I can safely perform this procedure without having to worry about whether or not there are critical structures in the way. This is really one of the biggest benefits of performing stellate ganglion block under ultrasound guidance. The other is, my patients are awake, they can tell me if something is painful at all, and if it is, I can slightly direct the needle while I'm looking at it under live ultrasound. I hope this helps. Thank you.